up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim School Fishing Classes in Session. The other day, Thursday, we took a look at a couple inexpensive knives from Joker Knives made in Spain. This is one of them. This is similar to an open L knife. It has an oak wood handle. So what I want to do is dye this handle with some of the wine Merlot colored writ dye that I had left from when I did a dye job on this brother knife. If you did not see this video, go back and check this out and see how absolutely hideously ugly this thing was before I dyed it. So what I want to do is something similar, but I don't think that I'm going to mix the purple. I'm just going to use this. I'm going to try to have it lighter up here and get darker as it goes down. So on this one, you can see that the bone covers are connected with torque screws and I was able to take those bone covers off of the knife. On this one, I can't do that. Okay, so I'm going to have to use the whole knife to do it. So I've got a piece of bonsai wire here. What I'm going to do is hook that bonsai wire in there like that. I'm going to wrap around one time like so and then I am just gonna dip the knife down into it now I think that I could probably just take this and paint it on here but I don't have any gloves and I don't want to get this stuff on my fingers so we're gonna do the immersion technique where we mix this with some water heat it up and dip it down in there now I think because this is wood and it's more porous than bone, I think this is gonna take up the dye much faster. So instead of doing this in one minute increments, we're gonna start with 20 second increments, see how that works out, and adjust from there. So let's get in to the laboratory and dye this Joker knife. All right, I don't know if you have to do this, but I've seen other people do it and I did it on the last one that I did and it came out well. So I'm gonna use the same technique, put a little bit of dish soap in there. I've got my writ dye. I have about half a bottle left. So I am gonna put about a quarter of a bottle, half of what I had left. Now I'm gonna stir this up we have to bring it up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'm gonna dip the knife for about 20 seconds, check it and see what we've got. All right, we are up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So I am going to turn this temperature down to a simmer. I've got a timer set for 20 seconds. We might have to go longer than that. So timer started. We will submerge it in there for 20 seconds and see what we've got. All right, so after 20 seconds, it's almost a pinkish color. Um, but what I do like is, is you can really see the wood grain. I think it's gonna come out cool. So let's go for another 20 seconds. All right, so another 20 seconds in. I like that for the shade at the top. So what I'm gonna do is dump some of this water out so that I can just, I don't have to hold it in the air. So I can just touch it to the bottom and not have to worry about the depth that I'm holding it at. So I'm gonna dump some of this out. We'll be right back. All right, so now I have a timer set for one minute. I'm going to submerge this for a minute to the halfway mark of the knife. So the timer is on. I will just touch that to the bottom, right? The reason I dump some of it out is I can just touch the end of the knife to the bottom of the, the pot and I don't have to worry about trying to hold it in the air while it is submerged at the same depth. So let's let this go for a little while and we'll come right back to it. All right, so we are getting there. We can see it's lighter at the top. 
a little darker at the bottom. So now I'm gonna dump out a little more and continue with this process. All right, so I have dumped out a little more. I've got another timer set for one minute. I dumped a little more out. So now we're submerging the knife, not quite as deep as it was before. And we're continuing with the process. When I get down toward the butt end of the knife, um, I'm gonna add some more dye. So let's let this run for a minute, come back to it. All right, so we're starting to get there. I'm gonna pour a little bit more out and add some more writ dye to do the bottom quarter portion. So let's do that and I'll be right back. All right, so now we've just got about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of water. I am gonna add the remainder of this dye. And then for the very butt end, I think I am going to add some purple. So our knife has a little bit of transition, not quite as much as I want. So we're gonna leave it in a little bit longer this time. Get that little stir. So I have a timer set for one minute. And we're just going to do about the bottom third of the knife. Then I'm going to add some, some of that purple eggplant and do like the bottom quarter of the knife. So we'll let this run for one minute. All right, so we're starting to get there. It is not taking up the dye nearly as fast as I thought it would. And it almost seems like it doesn't matter, it, like it's not getting any darker. Um, so we're gonna add a little bit of purple. I'm gonna take that eggplant purple, put just a few teaspoons of that in there. I'm gonna kick the heat up a little bit. Now we're gonna go for about a minute with that purple mixture. Woo. All right, so we're on the home stretch here. I know it's hard to tell because the wood is drying as I'm showing it to you. So the purple is helping it to transition to a little bit darker down at the butt. So I'm gonna pour out a little more water and add some more purple dye, and then we're gonna work on the butt end. All right, so I've dumped some more water out. We've only got about an inch of water in there. I've added some more purple. Let's go for our final dunk here. All right, so that was the final dunk there. So what I'm gonna do now is run some water over it, let it dry completely, put some clear coat on it, and then we'll see the final product. All right, so I let it dry real good. Then I hit it with two coats of clear coat. There we go. I will probably come back do a little sanding and hit it with a couple more coats of clear coat. I just did a rush job on that. So I'm probably going to touch it up a little bit in between clear coats and put more of a gloss finish on that. So turned out pretty good about what I expected. What I did learn is that the wood does not take up that writ dye nearly as fast as I thought it would. It's about the same as bone, to be honest. So as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and commenting. I do enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click on my face right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.